Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Universe, and today we're about to go into the brand new Wally event called Risky Research. Um, so, I mean, let's get into it. <laughs> no story, seems like. Uh, so, I think I'll just bring in Oogie, I guess. I no longer have Wally, my preview period is over. There are some famed crystals for Wally and Simba in the store right now. So after I finish this event, I'll be getting as much as I can to try to get Simba next. And I don't know if I will... Like, I'll probably try to do a video of me getting Simba, and then if I don't get him, I don't know if I'll just hold off on doing a video or if I'll try to do something else. I suppose I could always try another team. If you, uh, well, I don't know if I ever... I'll probably upload this before that other team. I'm not sure yet. But I did a team showcase. I could do another one, otherwise... Yeah, I guess there's really nothing else for me to do. I really like the, the look of the currency there. These are, I think they're called Chroma Cubes. So yeah, this event will probably be pretty similar to the Woody and Anna one where it's kind of split up into two separate events. So the first one is Wally focused and the second one is Simba focused. Um, but sadly there's no story tied into this one like there was with the previous one. So I'm guessing we're going to be facing off against some high tech characters since that's what Wally's all about. And all these chroma stuff. All these crystals are going to be on the ground. I don't actually know what the purple one would do if that's like poison or something. We're fighting Hades as well for some reason. Yeah, there's purple here. I don't actually know what the purple does. I tried to blow it up. There we go. Well, oh, it looked like it rooted me, which certainly makes sense. All right. We're going to get through this super quick. I don't know if we should start trying to go through Chapter 8 afterwards. Because, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to upload the Mickey team before this. Because I complete Chapter 7 in that one. And then if I'm playing Chapter 8 in this one, that means I'm going to have to do it chronologically. But I was hoping to get this video out somewhat soon after this event came out. Uh, have you guys gotten Wally? I know some of you have said you got him. Someone said they got a 5 star one, which is just unfair. <laughs> I'm very jealous. I would love to get that this time around because so far those free frame I guess not technically free, but the free to play famed crystals. I've not gotten the character from yet. Actually, I think I got Woody once, even though I already had Woody. But the chances might be increased or something. I don't know, but I've never gotten a new character from him. It would be cool to get Simba, of course, but even Wally I'd be very happy with, since I really don't have him. Um, so yeah, when I was playing as Wally, Apparently some of his buffs were messed up. I think he was too good, you know. I think he's less good as it was as it was supposed to be. Like there was a glitch. Since there's so much new about his character with that uh with the shield buff stuff. I don't even remember what it's called anymore. I think it had the word trash in it. But um it was too good. Which certainly makes sense. I had like full shield at like all times. But the thing I only noticed at the end of the video was that he actually cannot heal. Which is actually kind of crazy. There's no other characters that are like that. And... I mean, it is helpful to get more defense. Because he does get defense when you're healing him. Um, so at, at least there's that. But he can't actually gain health once he's lost it, it's gone. So, bringing Mickey is almost useless. But, uh... What was I gonna say? I can't think what I was gonna say, but... It's at least a cool concept, I guess. It makes him somewhat unique. 
Yeah, I don't know what Simba's all about at all. Um, if I don't get him from the famed ones, at least I'll get to do a preview of him like I did with Wally. So either way, I'll be doing a showcase of Simba. It'll, it'll just be a lot earlier, probably, if I do actually unlock him. Um, I'm guessing I probably just won't record a video if I don't get Wall or sorry Simba from those two crystals. Because um, I really have no other characters to showcase. Honest, not yet in the main crystal pool, as well as Tron, I guess. But Anna would certainly be the next one up. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Just getting the preview of those characters. Even if I can't unlock them. I'm also curious, I said, or before I said, I'm curious if you got Wally. I'm also curious if you got Simba. And if you have any opinions on him, I'd love to hear that too. I'm certainly more interested in Wally. But I'm sure Simba's got some cool stuff too. This event is actually longer than most events. This one's like seven long, it looked like. Usually only five. So, I guess it's just more ways to get those Chroma Stones. I don't get why on the screen Mickey is not appearing. I guess Mickey would be on the other side of Oogie, but it's focusing on Baymax for some reason. Alright, so we get some Chroma Stones there. I doubt I'm going to get 7,000 of those to try to go for uh, Simba yet. After this video is done, I'll go through the hard mode and any of the expert mode I can too, just to be able to get as many of those as I can every day. Whoa, two stitches. Um, but yeah. In terms of characters coming up after this, if you didn't see my previous video, we got to fight Jafar, which basically confirms that, you know, Jafar is ready to go. Or at least the concept of him is. Obviously the Fracture version is a little bit different than the version you're going to get to play as. But I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to have the same special skill and everything. Maybe the talents they'll have to come up with. But I mean, the majority of the stuff is done. Like, the model is done. So, I feel like I keep saying it. Any update, really, he probably will come. It'd be crazy if he just never released as a playable character. I really don't see that happening. But it's, it genuinely is kind of insane that he was in the very first version of this game towards the end of the story, or at least the end of the second chapter, second act. I never saw the full story. I never got to the complete ending of that original version, but I mean, if you just go to the playlist of Mirrorverse videos, um, I put Jafar in the thumbnail for the one we get to see him in for the first time. But that was a long, long time ago. Like, over a year, I'm pretty confident. So, we got like Aladdin after that even, which is just so crazy. But maybe they're waiting for him to be at the end of the story or something. Like maybe Chapter 9 or something, he joins the Guardians, I don't know. But it even seemed like at the end of Chapter 7, he was almost joining the Guardians in a way. He was almost helping them out, and they're like, oh, I owe you one. I don't know. Uh, uh, I've run out of things to talk about with Mirrorverse, but when I'm recording this, the day that the update came out, they announced that we aren't getting Simon Heroes and Disney Heroes anymore, which seems like it's a big deal, and it really just might not be. Because people have complained for a long time that we get too many heroes too often. I've never really understood that. The characters kind of run the whole game. And usually when a new character comes out, they kind of change the meta a little bit. Which I guess is probably the main argument, right? That you level up a character and then they just are out of the meta because a new character came in so soon. Um, or you're not able to level up each of your characters as much as you want to because you have to focus on new ones each time. But to that I also say you don't have to focus on the new characters, you know? If you don't like the new character, you actually just can straight up not go for them. So it's only really beneficial to get more characters. But that's... That's always how I thought about it. I never understood why people complained about those sorts of things. 
Um, but yeah, uh, to me it seems like it should be worrying, and it really just might not be. We finished the event, by the way. Uh, we don't even have any of those achievements. We just got some dailies to claim. Yeah, I guess we'll try chapter 8. Usually the first few chapters are a little bit easier than the previous boss fight, you know? So I'm thinking I can probably at least do the beginning, but I'm honestly a little nervous. We can at least see the story, I suppose. There's Ian over the stellar mirror. Mirror, He's defending it well. Guardians, boy am I glad to see you. I've been holding the fractured and titanborn off for hours. I could really use a snack break. But they need to be pushed back first, and I can't do it alone. Don't worry, Ian. We're here to help, and you're doing a great job. Wow, thanks, Mickey. Can I quote you on my internship application? No, you can't. Okay, I press confirm. <laughs> um, they also just might have a smaller team, a smaller budget, and they need to reduce the amount of heroes to continue the game, go the game going, which in that case, if it's going to continue the creation of the game, obviously I'm all for it. But also, it's a little worrying then that they aren't able to do the same amount of heroes that they had done for a while. Um... It's honestly kind of surprising that they went four years with signing heroes every month. I remember early on they did one where it wasn't a new hero and everybody was complaining about it. And from then on, it's been a new hero every single month. So it's kind of crazy to switch that up because that's been a thing since very, very early on. Um, and somebody commented that they didn't think the game was going to end anytime soon because the story hasn't yet completed in that game. But to that I say that's neither here or there. Obviously they're going to plan for as much story as they can do just in case they have that amount of time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get the opportunity to complete the story all the way to how they want it to do. Or how long they want it to be, I guess. And a good example of that would be Disney Cross Your Road, which had a bunch of updates ready to go. The main one would have been DuckTales, which had a bunch of characters, data mine, we knew it was coming, and then we heard nothing for months. And I don't know what specifically happened, or why we even eventually got the DuckTales update, but months later we finally got it. And it was the final update, and it's pretty obvious that it was going to be the final update. Um, and... There were still characters that never got released. There was like an upcoming toy series that never got released either. There was a bunch of stuff that was planned that just never got to got to see the light of day because Disney canned the game. And that can certainly happen, especially with these Disney games. It's different if it's like an indie game that is run by its own company. If that makes sense. Like, there's no one specifically saying you cannot make updates on this game anymore. But Disney has the power to say, hey, we're not going to let you make updates on this anymore. You're using our characters and we don't want you to do it anymore. You're not making it enough money and we're pulling the plug. But with your own characters, with your own company, you can do whatever you want. That's a little bit of a different situation. Anyways, we're fighting Woody, which I find pretty cool <laughs> since he's such a newer character. But this chapter did just come out. Uh, so yeah, we're really showcasing the um, the newest update here, I suppose. Because we just got the new event. We get to play through some of Chapter 8, which is spanking brand new. Sheesh. It's, dude, Hades said sheesh. It's getting to where a god can't catch a break anymore. This stellar mirror could be even better than the fracture mirror I lost. And it's going to give me the fracture and titanborn I need for my hostile takeover plans. I just need these guardians to let me near it long enough. It's almost like they don't trust me. Mm hmm. Alright, the area around the cellar mirror is cleared. Now let's push them back. Pushing them back won't keep the challenge, keeping them back will. I've got a plan for that, and I'll tell you as soon as these fractures stop attacking us. I really considered doing the TikTok sheesh voice, but I think that's just going to be more cringy than funny, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Uh, right. I really don't know how many more chapters they would plan to add to this game. 
Because, like, eventually they're going to reach the point where it's too difficult for anybody to beat it, you know? Like, they can only raise the difficulty so much. But I guess the same could be said for, like, Disney Heroes, which still has new levels coming out all the time. So I guess that's neither here nor there. As they continue to add ways to rank up your characters, I guess they can keep making it harder. Which, speaking of, I really need to just start leveling up my characters. I have Mickey... I rank over everybody else, so I definitely at least need to get them all that same rank. Um, and that's definitely a starting point. And then I need to... I don't know, because... Uh, Maleficent is actually not that great. I always just use her because she ended up being really high level, but that was really not my intention to do so. She just so happened to get a good star level, and I enjoyed using her. And as she was higher, I continued to level her up since she was so high already. Uh, but there are definitely better range characters. Uh, I really like Baymax. I don't think he's one of the best tanks. Actually, no, he's not one of the best tanks. But I do actually really like using him. I think his defense is really nice. So I probably will continue to try to use Baymax. But I should probably switch out that third character. I mean, it doesn't even have to be ranged. I could try melee. Sometimes I bring in Oogie Boogie as an extra tank when I want to just deal a bunch of damage. But... The same could be done with a range character or a melee character. And I think Herc is supposed to be good. Maybe I could try him. Um, I also really like Zerg as a range character, but it's it's just really not feasible right now because I only have about two stars, and there's not a great way to get more for him. Once these get added to the main crystal pool, maybe it would be more possible. But it's always hard to get the specific characters you want from that stuff, anyways. So. Yeah, I don't know. And even Herc, I'm not sure if he's even at 4 stars or what. I think 4 stars are probably the minimum I'd want to go for when choosing a character to add to my main team. I mean, 5 stars would obviously be the most ideal. I think I have Elsa at 5 stars. I don't think she's all that great, though. She's certainly not S tier. I feel like I remember that. I've been thinking I might want to do a tier list of the Mirrorverse characters, not just on who's the best, because there's already a pretty definitive list out there that gets updated all the time. I'd rather just do one on their design and the concept of them. Okay, now that we've got a moment to breathe, here's my plan. I've been saving these powerful star crystals called Nova Shards. Used together, they can amplify the mirror's defenses. We'll split into three teams, each with a Nova Shard. Then each team will place their shard in a st strategic spot and then when all three are activated, the mirror's defenses will be amplified, making it easier to keep safe. Anybody write that down? I might have missed a step. I feel like the flaw in his plan is that the villain's just going to use that to his advantage, but maybe I, I'm predicting the future here. I think this will be our last fight here. I almost consider just ending it there, but I think we'll do one more. Um... So yeah, it was cool to get to see the new event with Wally. Again, there's no new dialogue or anything, so it really wasn't all that special, but it'll be fun to at least get the currency for their shop so I can try to get them unlocked. Wally for real, Simba for the first time. Again, either way, if I get him from the crystals or not, I'm going to be able to do a preview of him, so we'll see him regardless. If I do the preview, I'll probably have him at a higher level anyways. So, um... It's almost better showcase purposes to not unlock him, but long term it'll probably be better to just straight up unlock him now. And who knows, maybe I'll get a 5 star version, it's pretty unlikely, but it'd be nice. Obviously it'd be nice. I, I'd never get 5 star heroes. I can't think of a time that I got a 5 star hero. Except I feel like when the game started, they gave us some free ones, right? I don't think I've gotten another crystal with those since the game began. In beta, obviously. But I think that's how I got, like, Baymax and... I think I got, like, Mulan or something to five stars right away. I feel like I remember that. Um, but yeah, I'm really... I'm still really enjoying playing this game, and I love getting to see the new characters. I, I think this game is only getting better and better as they keep going on. And I hope they just continue to innovate stuff, come out, come out with new modes that are actually fun to play. Because the dungeons I find to be somewhat tedious, I'd love to get a new mode that I enjoy. 
but I kind of doubt it. Like, the same thing happened with Sorcerer's Arena, where they just never ended up adding any modes I really enjoyed. But who knows, I, I could be wrong. I mean, the same could even be said for Disney Heroes. I don't, I don't play any of the new modes. I only play the stuff that was in the game originally that isn't too tedious. Like, Heist is so unbelievably tedious. I would never even dream of doing Heist again. And, I mean, I want to get Kida, but my guild is just not good enough to, to get her in Disney Sources Arena, so I don't even bother with the Alliance Adventure Quest, whatever they're called. Or just go and claim the rewards that my, my guild got. <laughs> or club, I guess it is. It's always so crazy to think that Frank Wolf is in this game. <laughs> Such a strange, unbelievable character. I wish we would have got, like, uh... What's her name? Malin Lee from Turning Red in this game. I think she would make a really cool character in this game. And I, like, skipped over her, but then we got the Lightyear Zerg. I wish they didn't skip over her. I really like her. I think it seemed like a... A crazy, like... Overpowerful, super detailed, uh, uh, red panda would be awesome. Or even like half panda, half human or something, like they do a, a mixture. I don't know, I feel like she would have been a really cool character to get, but I suppose they could always add her in the future. Alright, we're about to finish it here, I think, yeah, there we go. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.